All right, so you could screen share whenever you'd like and get started here real quick. Welcome everybody to our uh, QR code training. This is gonna be our first of four trainings. So we have social media, cyber fraud, uh, and videos that stand out from the crowd that uh, obviously help your business grow. Thank you to Michelle from uh, Charles Ruttenberg Realty. Many of you uh, are Charles Ruttenberg agents. If you're not a Charles Ruttenberg agent, you should be. We have been the in-house title company there for, uh, we say 15 years, but I think it's almost closer to like 17 years. Um, and we're there in our merit. We, hopefully we, we put events on like this, we get an opportunity to earn your business and then hopefully once we have that opportunity, we can then keep your business. Uh, so if you've ever had a, a chance to close with us, thank you very much. If you're a client of ours, again, thank you very much. Uh, and that's it. We're going to get started here. Sam is one of our partners to one of our national underwriters. You know, and Sam's focus is really on helping businesses grow. So when I reached out to our underwriting partner, uh, they thought Sam would be fantastic to be able to hop on and deliver a couple of classes here just to to do something unique, you know, you see so many of these title companies, they're doing classes on, you know, the contract or uh, on FERPTA, on, on all sorts of, of real estate related stuff, but they always forget about the agent and helping the agent grow their business. And that's really what we're focused on here at the title company. That's one of the biggest things that I love working on. You know, title should be our, our job, right? That's what we do all day long, but really focused on helping clients, agents, investors, mortgage brokers, help them grow their business needs to be focused. We need to focus more on helping you grow your business because then when you grow your business, you're gonna have more closings to send over to us. So that's what we've done for the past 18 years. And we look forward to bringing you uh, these series. One thing is you do have to register for all four individually. So the same email you got for the one you registered to, please make sure you register for all four because Zoom will send you the automatic link. It's not the same link. Uh, for them. Uh, so just please register for those four, uh, you know, the next three upcoming ones. And we'll try and add more as we go. These are the first four we picked in order to uh, try and get things going. So Michelle, did you have anything you wanted to say? Thank you for um, everyone for being here. Thank you for Kevin, um, for you putting this on for our agents. Um, it truly is um, outstanding to um, take their business to the next level and share these types of tips to do so. And um, agents, please make sure you're always taking um, note and checking out our www.crrevents.com because we have more trainings coming up from Kevin and his team, like Sam, um, putting those things on, um, as well as uh, our other preferred affiliates um, and our back end software training tips and tools as well. So thank you very much. I'm going to go um, off camera here and uh, keep listening in. So thank you very much to both of you. Awesome. Thank you. And, and please put the link in the chat there for any agents that are not Ruttenberg agents would like to look at it, reach out to you, put your contact information, because I know a lot of uh, other clients are, are on here that, that may not be agents with you. Again, so Sam, you're welcome to take over. Sam, awesome. real estate broker, title guy, really focused on digital marketing, which is what you know today's uh, day and age really needs to be focused on. A lot of people are scared of technology. And I think if you really learn how to properly leverage it, I always tell people the joke, you can't just hit boost on Facebook anymore. It doesn't work. You need to understand how to leverage videos, leverage QR codes. There's a reason when the pandemic hit that every restaurant in town now uses QR codes, even still today, because it's just the ease of making things, uh, making their business grow. So uh, screen share is up to you. Take on over. The controls are yours. Awesome. Thanks, Kevin. Thank you so much. And thank you very much, Michelle, as well. I appreciate it. Um, so here is what we're going to talk about today. It's the comeback of the year. Um, it's something that uh, can be used in so many different ways. And so I'm excited to talk about how to leverage QR codes to streamline and grow your business. And thanks again to Independence Title for having me. Um, just a little bit about me so you know who's talking at you. This is a old headshot that I need to update since I have a Corona cut now. Uh, but you get the idea. I'm coming to you live from El Paso, Texas on the Texas, New Mexico and Mexico border graduated from UTEP here in El Paso. If you're familiar with the movie Glory Road about the 1966 national championship team with the first all African American starting lineup. That's UTEP. That's where I went. Not the uh, UT. All right. All right. All right. Um, Matthew McConaughey one, but the one in El Paso. So I started my career out of college as a realtor, got a couple cool awards became a part of a title company and was the vice president of uh, a regional title company here in Texas and New Mexico, founded a social ad firm. 
I had 11 underwriters as a title agent and WFG was, was one of them. And there's a reason why I'm here now. It's an awesome company and I'm honored to be a part of this national underwriter team. So that's a little bit about me. So what's the plan? Here's our game plan. One, I want to talk a little bit about what QR codes are because I'm a nerd and stuff like that is fun for me. Uh, two, I want to talk about why they're important. Third stop is uh, we're going to talk about how to make your own for free, really simply and really easily. And then we're going to do a little bit of strategizing on what to do with them once we've made them. So that is our course outline for today, our syllabi, if you will. Um, I will get Kevin and Michelle a copy of this presentation at the end. Uh, take it, use it, throw your logo on it, give it whatever you want. It's yours uh, after this. So um, no need to take a bunch of notes or anything like that. You'll have everything by the time we're done. So what we saw last year was the comeback of all comebacks in the marketing and sales world with the QR code. So just so you know, that actually stands for quick response code. It's basically a dot matrix barcode. And what a lot of people don't know, it's actually been around a while. In 1994, Toyota created the QR code as an internal piece of technology to help track parts and assembly. So that's where they came from. I have no clue how they scanned them then. They, there was no such thing as a smartphone. Cell phones had barely been around. Um, but thanks to Toyota, we have them now. And again, it goes all the way back to the mid 90s. So if you're anything like me, they came up about 10 years ago, they started popping up and you'd see them on some flyers and stuff in the real estate world. And then they kind of disappeared, right? It seemed really cool and fun. And then it just didn't really catch on. And I think there's a few reasons why. One, they were kind of clunky to use, right? They, they weren't super convenient. You had to have a smartphone and a specific app to be able to scan them. Whereas now any phone can scan them. You don't have to have an app. It'll pull it up really quickly. Um, and then back then it was like, how could it be quick response with 1G? I don't think so, right? You'd open a website using a QR code and our web was so slow on our phones then that it just didn't really seem to work. I remember um, using my first QR code on a flyer at one of my real estate listings when I was still an active agent. And I was so experienced that the QR code on the flyer went to a digital version of the same flyer. I don't know what I thought I was trying to do there. I just thought it was cool, I guess, to have a QR code or something. But there wasn't a lot of strategy behind how we were using them at that time. And so they really didn't catch on. And Napoleon Hill, one of my favorite authors, within every adversity is an equal or greater benefit. Within every problem is an opportunity. So thanks to the Rona, nobody wanted to touch things anymore. We didn't want to share menus. We didn't want to be near each other. And so just like Kevin said, it really hit me. I, I last April, um, I guess it was just last April, uh, I went to Puerto Rico with my family and we went to a Bavarian restaurant, random, in the middle of the El Yunque rainforest, which is beautiful if you've ever been there. So we're at a German restaurant in the middle of the Puerto Rican rainforest, which makes no sense. And I looked down at the table and there's the QR code for the menu in the middle of a rainforest in the middle of Puerto Rico. And that's when I knew that they were everywhere. Then my dad, who was 79 years old at the time, pulled out his phone and scanned it without asking anything about it. And that's when I really knew they are everywhere and everyone knows how to use them. So it has happened. QR codes are absolutely back. And we can thank uh, that was one positive thing coming out of, of the Rona. So why are they an opportunity now? People are continuing to, to feel good about things that are touchless for whatever reason. It's not about necessarily the science anymore. It's about just we've changed our behaviors. They're really easy and simple to use. And like I just said, giving that example of my dad, everybody knows how to use them. Time is the number one resource that none of us can get enough of. You can't buy more of it. You just have to try and make the most of it. So time is absolutely of the essence in everything that we do. I believe that the opportunities uh, for how to implement and use these QR codes are absolutely endless. And the technology will agree with that. And one of my favorite things is it's trackable, right? So I can track how often something is scanned, what they click on once they're in there, all those types of things. So all of these reasons are why I think they're a huge opportunity right now in the real estate business in particular. So just to go over a couple quick things that you could do with a QR code, we're used to pulling up a menu, right? Which is basically a PDF file. Uh, it could be a website, depending on where the restaurant is. But you know, whether it's a PDF file, this could be a uh, closing checklist. This could be a pre-listing checklist for your clients and customers at the beginning of, of taking on their listing. It could be a buyer's checklist, any number of files. 
It could go straight to a website. We're going to talk a little bit about reviews, which I am super bullish about getting as many as you possibly can right now. It's the future currency of your business. Um, so it could be the Google website that you're directing them to or your Facebook reviews. It could be a text message. You can have a QR code that opens up and pre-populates the verbiage in a text message. So say you wanted to gather the information of the people that were at your open house and they're not putting their legit information in, right? They scan a QR code, it pops open the text and says, just visited your listing at 2028 Bob Hope. I would like more information. All they have to do is click send, right? You now have their cell phone number and it's the correct one and they're the ones who contacted you. Right. It could be an email message. Again, you could pre-populate the subject line. Could be an instant contact card. So if as a realtor, I get hit up constantly with ads on Instagram and Facebook for things like Popple and all of these other um, basically like little RFID cards where you can tap it on the back of your phone and it uploads your contact information instantly. You can do that using a QR code. And the only difference is the QR code is free and the little Popple device has a battery that dies over time and it's not free. Um, it could go to a video file. Um, I'm gonna talk about some ways to leverage that potentially inside your listings. Uh, if you're anything like me, I don't know how often you guys are in your office, but everybody coming in the office was asking for Wi-Fi, and I realized the receptionist was spending more time giving people the Wi-Fi password than she was being productive in what she wanted to be doing. So they could scan a QR code and it automatically logs them into your Wi-Fi. And of course, it could be something that opens up a phone call, right? If you had one on your real estate sign, for example. These are just a couple, a handful, eight or so ideas, but there are a million other things that you can do, but those I think are the top. So I want to talk a little bit about how to make your own. If you scan this QR code on the screen right now, you're going to go to my flow page, which is basically my digital business card. You can download my contact information with one click. You can connect with me on social. There's a little video uh, introducing myself, the same video I use for my cover image on LinkedIn. Just an idea for you. Um, but here's my two favorite places to make it. You can literally make them through your browser for the most part. You can make them on Canva and a few other places, but these are the two that I use the most. And my favorite of, of these, QR Code Monkey is good, but Flow Code is a fantastic product. You're probably seeing it in a lot of places right now. That company has just blown up. Um, I like Flow Code. They look different. You can customize the way they look. You can change the color. You can change this dot matrix into hearts or stars or rectangles or circles or whatever, and you can upload a logo in the middle of it. So they look very different. Just the fact that they're colorful and round stands out versus a typical black and white one by one square. Um, so I like the way they look. But another cool thing about these is, is on the back end, I can track everything, right? So at the end of today's class, I'll be able to go in and see how many of you of the 23 people that are active and live on this right now, how many of you scanned my flow code, right? So it's nice to be able to track that stuff. It, for example, if you had a flow code on your sign, or even on a yard sign at a potential listing, you'd be able to report back to your seller, hey, you know that little QR code I put on your sign? I've had 115 people drive by and scan that in the last 30 days. That's just another piece of information that you can provide to show your clients you're doing a great job. So I like it because not only is it free, you can make up to 10 of them for free. After that, it's like $9 a month or something like that. Um, so not only is it free, you know, for, for the first handful of them, but I love the trackability of flow code. Really cool. They have a lot of tutorials um, that show you exactly how to do it, but this is basically what it looks like. And it really is easy. When you log into flow code, I usually select make one. All you're going to do is name it and then decide where do I want this to go? Could be a link document, YouTube. If you had a video of that house, for example, your Facebook text message, whatever. And all you're going to do is either upload that document or direct it to that site. You can edit this to make it look however you want. Click create and you're done. You can literally create one in probably under 15 seconds once you log into flow code. Super quick, super easy. And for me, you know, you guys need to be doing what you do best, which is building those relationships, writing contracts and getting those deals closed, right? So the less time you can spend on things like this, the better. And so something that you can set and forget, a la Ronco, remember the like, set it and forget it, those infomercials. Um, so if you can set it and forget it, it's, it's the best. Um, so QR codes are just that. Once you create them, you can kind of forget about it. So I mentioned that I wanted to talk about reviews. 
now is the time, right? Things have slowed down just a little bit over the last couple months, but this is still an absolutely unprecedented market. There's a lot of deals happening every day. Each one of those deals has multiple people from whom you could gather a potential review. Reviews and your online reputation is the future, is your, your business's future currency. It's the future value of your online brand, your reputation, and your business. So there's a lot of opportunities. The biggest thing is we need to ask, Statistically, 76% of consumers will leave a review for a small business if you ask them. Now, if we can direct them exactly where to leave that review and make it super simple, I believe that 76% is going to go through the air, right? So again, it could be reception areas, closing rooms. In real estate, we love folders. Uh, it could be on folders. It could be on the back of business cards. Most realtor business cards that I see on the back, you flip it over and it says the highest compliment I could ever receive is a referral to your family or friends, right? I think the highest compliment I could receive is a five-star review on Google, right? I can use that as content. I can spread the word using that. So um, that may be a place to, to, to put a QR code directing to maybe your Facebook page review tab, or maybe if you have a Google My Business page, the review tab there. Um, if you wanted to put it on Zillow or Realtor.com, you could direct them there as well, or all of the above, which is which is what I would probably recommend. It's a fun way to grow your network. I've never seen a group of people who network more often and more robustly than real estate agents and people in our industry, whether it's YPN or WCR or mortgage bankers or title associations or whatever it is, we're constantly networking. Um, I definitely recommend being involved in the community, right? So whether it's the Rotary Club or the Lions Club or the, uh, uh, what's the name of the, you know, the the being an ambassador for the community, whatever it might be. I'm just trying to, what, I just totally went blank on the name of the, every, every community have ones. I go on tangents in my head sometimes, but whatever, whenever you're networking, especially with small business people, Right. If you're in a networking organization, small business people are typically the ones that are doing a little bit of real estate investing. They're typically the ones that are buying and selling property on a more regular basis. So I love the idea of the V card, which is basically what I just showed you with mine. You scan it. My contact info is right there. With two clicks, you can add me to your contacts on your cell phone. Um, you can follow me on social media. You can read my blogs on Inman, whatever it is. And so the cool thing about that is. Normally speaking, when somebody asks me for a business card, if I don't care whether or not we ever really connect, I hand them my business card. If I actually want to connect for sure, I pull out my phone and I have that image saved under my uh, favorite images. And I say, here, scan this real quick. They scan it, click two buttons and add me to their phone. And then the second thing they say is, hey, that's really cool. How'd you do that? Well, you just asked me for an appointment. I didn't even have to ask you, right? So whether it's someone else in the community or if you're looking to recruit other real estate agents, right, Michelle, or whatever it might be, by doing that, that person is now, they always say, hey, that's really cool. And then the second part is, hey, how'd you do that? So you just asked me for an appointment. So it makes it a lot easier for me to say, oh, I could show you how to do that in like 10 or 15 minutes. Why don't we grab a cup of coffee next week? And I'll show you how to do it, right? Um, another thing that's kind of neat is whether it's at open houses or, you know, <clears throat> I the the real estate community realtors are the king of being asked to be in every like guide ever right every high school football team and baseball team is like hey could you do a business card ad we'd really appreciate it and so most people just say yeah here's my business card i love the idea of being able to say absolutely and then give them a qr code so somebody can scan that and they can connect to my socials maybe they could download my contact info or maybe they can um, you know, shoot me a text straight from there. So it's kind of a fun and cool way to be able to turn something that's kind of old school marketing, right? Print marketing, business card ad, and a foot, high school football thing to something that comes alive when you scan it. So um, it's an easy way if you direct it to your social pages, whether it's a business card ad or at an open house, whatever it might be, it's an easy way to grow your audience um, using that. QR code directed straight to your socials. So I mentioned that I was going to talk a little bit about open houses, um, touchless flyers, right? One of my favorite things that I used to do, and if you're anything like me, you probably have experienced this. I would list a house and I would have my sellers tell me everything that they had done to that house. And they may be so proud. This is the most incredible refrigerator you've ever seen in your life, Sam. I got to tell you about this. 
right? They were so proud of that. Or maybe they were so proud of like a water softener system or there was something something crazy, right? They were always like, you got to know everything about this sand if you're going to sell this house. So you can easily turn that feature into a QR code, right? Maybe it could go to a flyer about that refrigerator. Maybe it could go to a little video saying, hey, thanks for scanning this. These countertops are imported from XYZ. And you know this is why these countertops are so great. Or, hey, thanks for looking for more information about the pool. This is actually a saltwater pool, which means it's gonna save you time and money in the long run, right? By simply putting a QR code on some of the features in the house, one that your seller wants people to know about, so you can kind of appease them, but two, as a way to be able to give people almost a virtual tour when they're physically inside the house with their agents. It could be something, something simple like rate sheets on the title space. I love FAQ videos. Typically speaking, we answer the same questions, whether you're a lender in title or realtor, we're answering a lot of the same questions for our clients and customers on a daily basis. So I love the idea of being able to create a fact sheet where you provide it to your clients and customers up front and say, hey, should any questions come up, refer back to the FAQ sheet. If something's not there, give me a call. People want to be communicated with conveniently as well. So your client doesn't want to call you and ask again what earnest money is or some question that they've already asked you. They don't want to do it either. If they can access that information on their time quickly and easily, you're actually providing a service to them which is convenience, right? They didn't want to pick up the phone and have to call you either. So I love FAQ videos, all linked to a QR code. And then at the end of the day, in the real estate industry, we sure love folders. You know, we have a folder for everything. We maybe, you know, have digitized everything. We still have folders and we always will for some reason. So that is a great place to be able to um, embed a couple different QR codes and whatnot as well. So one of my biggest things is if you look at NAR statistics, there is one thing over the last like 10 years, the number has never changed and it's actually gotten slightly worse. So basically almost 90%, 88% of all buyers and sellers of real estate said that they had a great experience with their realtor and they would be glad to use that person again. However, like 25% actually do use them again. Why? As realtors, we're not that great at follow-up. We're not that great at post-close communication. We don't keep the relationship going. And if you're anything like me, you'll drive by a house that you sold somebody three years ago and you see a sign in the front yard and it's not yours and you're like offended by it. I would be like, I can't believe this. I mean, they know me. And then I would think back and be like, what did I do to keep that relationship going? Okay, this is kind of on me, right? So statistically, the average American has a real estate transaction every two to five years. Are we a part of those transactions or not? A long-term relationship takes eight to 12 touch points, right? So you have to have been dripping on this person in some type of valuable way, eight to 12 times to really build that long-term relationship. In real estate, we typically don't get past the third, right? So how can we use QR codes uh, to engage with people post-closing? I love the idea, and I don't even know what's on my next slide here. Um, I love the, yeah, I love the idea of a couple different things. You know, maybe a seasonal note card linked to a video message about what's going on in the community or a giveaway. This was one of my favorites. I did this with an agent up in the Northeast not that long ago. During the summer, she said, hey, you know, I'm trying to find kind of an engaging way to get my clients to kind of con connect with me back and forth over the summer. And I said, well, you know, what if we did kind of a summer barbecue giveaway and little Yeti, couple Yeti cups and a cooler and a barbecue set and a few things like that and sent out some snail mail mailers with a QR code on it that they could scan and be entered to win. And she's like, okay, but how is that going to get them to communicate with me? What we did was we turned the QR code into a text message. It opened a text automatically when they scanned it and pre-populated it saying, hey, Tina, I wanted to be entered to win the barbecue set. Hope you're well. All they had to do was click send. This agent, if she had them in her phone, she already knew who they were. And she could say, hey, Kevin, thanks so much for texting me. I appreciate it. How's everything going in your neck of the woods? Uh, you'll be entered to win. If she didn't have them in her phone, she could use the line that we all do. Oh, I don't have this contact information. Who is this? And I'll be glad to enter you. It started an actual conversation, right? It wasn't automated. It was a real conversation. So she sent out 100 of those. She ended up having 75 or so people enter to win to where she bought three or four different ones and did a giveaway. But more importantly, 
that turned into three or four buyers and seven listings out of a hundred people. That's how crazy the market was up there at that time. And so it wasn't necessarily just those specific people. Some of them was family and friends that they referred her to, but it was literally only a hundred postcards that she sent out and it turned into about 10 transactions. And it, again, it was an actual conversation. It started an actual conversation with her. It wasn't automated. It wasn't digitized. It was a real conversation. And so I love using these for giveaways um, using the text feature. So um, one of the things that I just talked about that I'm going to harp on again is reviews. So the best time to ask for one is, is right at closing, right? Everybody's in the best mood at closing. Doesn't matter what happened in that moment. There's a you know, big relief or release of serotonin. They feel good. That's a great time. However, um, I love the idea of being able to send them a quick flyer with a QR code leading to your review page um, in a mail, in the mail at, about a month after closing with a little $5 gift certificate or something like that to Starbucks. So a couple of things happen when you do that, right? You're giving them, it's only $5, which can barely buy you a cup of coffee at Starbucks in today's world, but it's something of value that you're doing, saying, thank you for letting me be a part of your transaction. So they automatically feel like, well, you know what? Michelle sent me something of value. I'll go ahead and do this real quickly for her. And then statistically, we saw 76% of people will do it. If it's a QR code, I think that number goes up even more because you're telling them exactly where to go. In our business, when we do ask for reviews, one of the mistakes we make is we just say, hey, I'd love for you to leave me a quick review. I'd appreciate that. We don't tell them where to leave the review, when we'd like them to do it, how we'd like them to do it. They don't know if we're talking about Facebook or Yelp or Google or Zillow. We don't, we're giving them homework now. So the chance of them doing it is not nearly as good. If I say, hey, I'd love for you to leave a quick review, all you got to do is scan that QR code. I'm making it very simple and I'm turning something that could be a five minute process into basically 30 seconds. So um, when you send out a mailer congratulating someone and uh, with a little $5 gift card, the return is usually very good. Every regulatory environment is different. So before I say anything that you can't do, check yourself before you wreck yourself anytime you're adding something of value to somebody. Um, and then one of my favorite things to do is to be able to really double down on local, right? So everybody, especially in today's world, is excited about supporting local businesses, especially restaurants post-pandemic. Some of them had a real hard time getting employees, keeping employees, and keeping their doors open. So I used to like to co-brand with some of my favorite restaurants and I would say, hey, you know, if I can direct some people here, would you be willing to give them a quick discount? Absolutely. So I made a little QR code that would lead to um, a little flyer offering a discount that I had agreed on that uh, owner of that business with. All it did was good things, right? The business is appreciative. You're supporting them. Do you think if they overhear people, you know, that manager or that owner of that restaurant, if they overhear people talking about real estate, do you think they're probably going to serve you up instead of other people? Probably because you're helping them support their business. So that's just one, another kind of quick way that I love to co-brand stuff or something totally unrelated. We're used to co-branding with, with, with other agents or lenders, you know, with Kevin and his team. We're not used to necessarily co-branding with our favorite Italian restaurant down the street, um, but they will serve you up on a platter to their clients and customers if you support their business, uh, I guarantee it. So a couple of quick last things about stuff that I love to do with them, get creative with them. You can put them anywhere. When you download this file, it could go on documents, it could go on shirts, it could go on stickers. You can make print ads come to life. The next time you have a print ad, have a QR code there with a little arrow that says scan me and have it connected to something. Whether it's an origin video about you and your business or a little bio, your website, a text message, whatever it might be, that brings that print ad to life. It makes the print ad engaging. It's then not just something that you look at, it's something that you can actually engage with. Um, use them in mailers. If you have a little display at your storefront about getting to know you or at the front of your office, that's a great place, little counter displays. I love the idea of including them on your swag items. You know, you're probably giving away some branded stuff, include a QR code that goes to your social pages or that goes to another place that you'd like for your clients and customers to be. Um, and once again, I truly believe that closing time is the best time to ask for reviews. People could be mad at the world, but they sign that last document, give their hand a rest. All of a sudden, they're in a good mood. They feel a sense of relief, and that is the perfect time to ask for a review in our industry. Um, here's a couple quick things to think about to really make sure that you get the biggest bang for your buck when it comes to using them. Make it obvious, right? 
See this little arrow here and say, you know, having it say scan here. We all know for the most part, but at the end of the day, make it very obvious what you want people to do. Create a call to action, you know, enter to win a summer barbecue set with a couple of Yeti cups, whatever it might be. Create that call to action. Give them a reason to want to scan it. Put it in a good and obvious place. I see some people using them, but it's like a teeny little code down at the bottom corner of something. And it's not super obvious why people should do it. And therefore, it's not going to get scanned. Make the benefit of somebody scanning it, whether it's getting a free market analysis, whether it's learning more about the home they're in, whether it's being entered to win something. What is the benefit of them scanning this QR code? Make it very clear. And like anything else, it's all about being consistent. Not everything works the first, second, or even third time we do it. But if we stay consistent, we will wash, rinse, and repeat. I promise you it will begin to work. Uh, and and kind of like anything else, it's one of those things where if you do the work, you put in the time, the effort, the energy, the results will absolutely follow. And the whole goal is continuing to sustain the relationships that we have and then grow new relationships by standing out from the crowd. When you do things like this in a deliberate and strategic way, you absolutely stand out from the crowd, which puts you front of mind, which creates more transactions and helps us make a better living. Um, so thanks so much to Kevin for having me. Thank you very much, Michelle. Um, and our friends at WFG, I appreciate that. This is my code. Again, if you haven't scanned it already, you can whip out your phone and scan it real quick right now. I'd love to connect on social. Um, you know, Drop me a line. If you have any questions, let me know. And that is the comeback of the year uh, QR codes. Awesome. Thank you so much. That was great.